It is to scare off the evil spirits as we approach the mid autumn street right past us. And they're trying to get the dragon stirred up. So it's, it's, it goes back and forth for about an hour in this neighborhood. About 130 years ago, there was a typhoon in this area, followed by, and when the villagers were rebuilding this area, a python came in and ate all their livestock. So a shaman said at the next, a soothsayer said at the next moon festival, you need to parade for three days with a fire dragon to cleanse this of all evil spirits. And they've been doing this for 130 years now, with the exception of when the Japanese invaded. So they're calling. The streets are closed. So the fire dragon will be coming around this corner. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty smelly. Smells like uh, dead potpourri. Oh, you're welcome. This is a definitely a very Hong Kong thing. Very traditional to this neighborhood. What's he say? Oh, off the rail. Yeah. It's the Mid-Autumn Festival. You know it as the Harvest Moon, the largest moon of the year. But the Harvest Moon is called the Mid-Autumn Festival. It's uh, two or three days off vacation. It's a big family holiday. You have a big dinner. You'll see the dragon's head chasing two pearls, followed by a long body. And covering the dragon and covering the bodies is um, incense sticks. Thousands, 70,000 incense sticks. Here it comes. Time to invite your followers, because here comes the dragon. Mooncake is the traditional gift of the, of the Mid-Autumn Festival. You can see two white lights. That's the eyes of the dragon back there. Thanks for the invite, guys. You can see the dragon's tail in the distance there. Here he comes. He's chasing those two pearls. Those white lights are his eyes. That's the head of the dragon. There it is. You can see as they spin it, the incense gets bright and the, it turns into fire. This is an iPhone 6S. Here comes the pearls and here comes the dragon. Feel free to take your screenshots. Ah. Jonathan JK will be periscoping this tomorrow and Sunday. If you guys are following Jonathan JK, here's your good screenshot. Oh, the incense is strong. Oh, he's falling down. Oh, someone else got, oh, the guy passed out. <laughs> they saved him. And there you can see his body go by. They're all wearing goggles. They have a mask and towels to cover their mouths because the, it is an incredibly thick incense smell here. It's a very long dragon. And he's coming back around. Sorry. Hey, here comes the tail. Oh, the fire dragon's tail. The harder they swish, the more it burns, the brighter it burns. Oh, 
Here comes the head again. Good evening. Welcome to Tai Hong, Hong Kong for the annual Fire Dragon Dance. There's a screenshot. John and the JK better have some goggles. That's all I can say. Oh, they're going down the side street. Morning for cattle. Yep, you're at the Mid-Autumn Festival in Hong Kong. It, is, it smells like someone burned a bunch of dead potpourris. Like a giant potpourri bear exploded into a ball of fire. Here comes the tail. They're trying to get it swirling. The faster it moves, the more it burns. Whoa, it's hot. You can, oh, you can feel the heat as it comes over here, guys. There goes the dragon down the side street. Ah, all right, guys, it's gone, but it's coming back. It'll be back later. Ah, remember you when you were a younger boy. Ah. For those who don't know, I'm Penguin Six. I give you walking tours of Hong Kong every single day. So feel free to follow me and I'll show you parts of the city, different events throughout the city, like this, the Tai Hong Fire Dragon. The dragon's off on the back streets now, blessing those streets, but it will be back and forth for the next few hours. Hey, thanks for the follow, guys. I think we will go try to follow Dragon. Hey, you guys have a nice trip here in Hong Kong. Well, right. nice see you later. Let's go see if we can find him. I have some tourists I was talking to. We're going to go chase the Dragon. Oh, there's a breeze coming. There's a breeze. And the breeze has got the dragon's head burning brightly. Oh, I'm getting right down on the street now. Oh, they're going down that side street. Ah. Let's chase them. They're chasing a dragon. The tail will come. Oh, they keep bumping into each other. I do not have a mask on or goggles. As soon as the tail comes, the crowd will surge. The police are just getting out of the way. Hey, Jonathan JK, you better bring goggles, man. Bring some goggles and bring a mask. Guys, Jonathan JK is going to be inside the dragon this weekend. This is in Tai Hong, Causeway Bay. There's the tail. Whoa, we got hit by some cinders. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You real? Every one of those guys has got protective goggles on in there, because the smoke is so heavy that their eyes would just water. My eyes are watering. Whoa, <laughs> sorry. And the heat. I can't begin to describe the heat coming off the tail of this thing. Ooh, oh man! I just took a dose of incense in the eyes. There he goes around the corner. Let's chase this thing, chasing a dragon through Tai Hong, Hong Kong just outside of Causeway Bay neighborhood. <laughs> wow, you can see the smoke that's pouring off this thing. This is like a mad dash. You can see the incense sticks that are just falling off the dragon. Here they've got more they can relight. More sticks, oops, sorry. More incense sticks, thousands of them. They're using these to set up the next Here's a screenshot of those guys setting up thousands of incense sticks. The smoke is overpowering. Ugh. Ugh, fudge. Oh, man, that hurt. Okay, so I know what it's like to be tear gas now. Okay, they went down this way. We're going to catch them up this way. The crowd surges with it. Oh, man, that was insane. So the dragon is just over there. On the one street over, this is a grid street system in this neighborhood. Oh, there goes the tail. So 130 years ago, there was a typhoon that ravaged this fishing village. While they were rebuilding it, 
a giant python slipped into the village and ate all the livestock. A soothsayer came forth and said, the only way to cleanse this place of the evil spirits is to take a fire dragon for three days during the mid-autumn festival and walk the streets. So they did, the villagers did, and they've been doing it every year since for the last 130 years. This neighborhood's undergone a lot of changes. It used to be a fishing village, but now it's a very hip and trendy place with lots of restaurants and nice little apartments. But they still dance in the streets with the fire dragon. So let's go see if we can find them. It's kind of a running battle through the streets. He's down here. Here he is. There's the head. We found it. Yeah, it's very warm here. It's humid. But when the fire goes by, uh, it's, it's hot. When the dragon goes by, it can actually give off quite a bit of heat. Oh, he's going down another side street. All right, let's cut him off this way. <laughs> Everybody's going for him. Ah. <laughs> he's down there. We're going to cut him off at the next street. This is a taxi repair place. You can get pieces of taxis here. Parking back to his old thing. I hear the drums are chasing the drums. Oh, he's coming right down the street. We're walking right into the drums. Here comes the fire dragon. Hey, Taiwan. Welcome to Tai Hong, Hong Kong, where we're walking with the fire dragon head. Yes, give me a little bit of culture. The tail is behind me. They're fighting to pull the tail because it's 200. It's about 70 meters of tail. 70,000 incense sticks. And it's a battle. These guys are sweating like, like a madman. I'm getting back into the crowd. I'm going to have to stop for a minute. Hey, Denmark, it is evening here. It is the getting ready for the Harvest Moon Festival, the Mid-Autumn Festival. The tail is coming up. We do have a good connection. That's really great. Here comes the tail. I'm going to have to close my eyes again. Oh, switch. They just did a switch. And here comes the tail. Oh, but the head's coming back down the side street. Now it's warm. So hot. I'm on a success, yes. Let's go see what we can... F Let's go catch the head around the corner again. Uh, there is a lot of... There is a big mid-autumn uh, dinner. You have dinner with your family. Uh, that's tomorrow night. Most of the locals will be having dinners with their family. And we're back up. Oh, he's back down the side street again. <laughs> Whoever thought, yeah, well, they're getting tired. Here, they're reloading another pearl. This is one of the uh, things that the dragon's head will chase. We saw this earlier. We've been, I'm sorry, we went around in a circle, didn't we? But they're getting this pearl ready for to substitute. So when he comes back around, they'll sub in this new one. Why do people chase the dragon? Because it's fun. <laughs> Whoa, there goes, there goes the tail. All right, he's gone down to the left. So will we. Yeah. He's back on the main street now. They're just on. They're just. I hear the drums coming up ahead. Let's go up there and catch him. We're back at the front. Here 
come. Back at the head of the dragon. Whoa! That went right over my head. I'm sorry. Ah. He's cleansing a motorcycle repair shop. <laughs> there goes the tail. So the men who work in the motorcycle shop have just jumped out and they're going to grab into the dragon now and they're going to go walking with the dragon as well. He's going around the corner, we have to stop for a second. It started to rain a little bit, thankfully. Ah, uh, you're overseas, so I'm missing the festival. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess I do. Oh, you're right here. Oh. 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 There he is over here, guys. Let's go catch him again. Down this way. I don't know, it's like 80 degrees and not really humid. Feel free to invite your followers. This is an annual thing, only happens three nights a year in Hong Kong. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh! Drums on that way. <laughs> oh, he ran over some people. He had to clear the forest. He's cleansing the florist. There they go again. I'm under this thing right now. It's made out of like, a, it's like a giant rope with the incense sticks jammed into it. Endless Hostess products. <laughs> Munchies! You can see the smoke just wafting off. It is like it's a tug of war rope for, for trucks. What's the purpose? Um, 130 years ago, the city, this area of Hong Kong suffered from a major typhoon. And while rebuilding it, a python came into the town and ate all the livestock. So a soothsayer said that during the Mid-Autumn Festival, they needed to dance with a fire dragon to cleanse this of evil spirits for three days. And they've been doing it every year for the last 130 years. This is the top. Let's go. Chase the dragon. So the Hong Kong police do have a, um, a p bagpipe band, and I think they're actually here playing bagpipe music somewhere around the corner. Can you hear the pipes? East meets West. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hong Kong Police Department. Screenshot. There's the pipers. The Hong Kong pipe and, pipe and drum band. The Hong Kong Police Department. And fire services. 
new culture and old culture. Here comes the dragon again. He's gone. Yeah, clash, mix, whatever you want to say. No, but you do when you think Hong Kong. The Hong Kong police still march to bagpipes when they do their formal parades. They still march British style. Uh, this is the Mid-Autumn Festival in Hong Kong. This is the dragon. Oh, it does get tired. They just switch out the men who are doing it. Here comes the tail. There's the tail, there's the tail. Whoosh. There's the pipes. There's the pipers. Bagpipes and dragons. It's a Hong Kong thing. Ah, let's go catch this dragon again. There are large lights up all over. Wow, I'm trapped. I'm actually trapped in here, so I'm going to have to go around the block. Oh. So we're going to go around the block here. Ooh, Debuchy, sorry. Little kids never sleep in Hong Kong. They're up all the time. Whew. This is a very popular tourist event. This is the first night of the Dragon. It'll be going on for two more days. I can't get any closer to the bagpipes, unfortunately. The crowd is too thick, but... Um, I'm going to make my way back down, and I will try to scope again the, the bagpipes. So, all right, we're sort of stuck. All right, guys, I tell you what, I've lost the dragon. I need a drink. It's so hot, I'm dripping sweat. Oh, I hear the pipes up again. So, uh, I think the pipers might be coming out this way. Uh, we'll see. Oh, they're marching off. Let's follow the Piper. This is Hong Kong. A little bit east, a little bit west. Definitely different. Uh, the Portuguese influence isn't as strong as the British influence. I'm a little bit taller. It's about 9 o'clock at night. This is the Mid-Autumn Festival in Taihong, Hong Kong. And the Pipers are heading back. But the dragon, the dragon is still somewhere in these streets. So we're going to go back and search for him. But I really have got to get a drink, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. You're welcome, guys. Yay!
All right, guys. I need to take a break, but I'm going to come back in a few minutes after I read all of this. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to follow me. I'll